Drug Evolution, a Mountaintop News Digging Deep investigation. Overdose deaths in Pike County are now officially part of the report from last year, but Coroner Kevin Hall says those numbers may not be as accurate as we think. The Kentucky Justice and Public Safety Cabinet counted 38 overdose deaths in Pike County last year, reflecting a decrease of nearly 10% in overdose deaths, but Hall's own numbers are quite different. Yeah, I feel in Pike County and surrounding counties that we have a serious drug problem. Uh, a lot of the drug problem is it, it's heartbreaking when you have to go and tell a family member, a, a mother or father, that their child has been found in an overdose. Uh, it's also bad when you have people from the surrounding counties who come into Pike County, such as Matewan, West Virginia, or Floyd County, or Letcher County, and they come in with friends, and then we have to go back to those other counties and try to figure out who they are and what they're doing here. My numbers reflect that they actually increased in 2023. We had 61 overdose deaths in Pike County that my office actually worked. It is the season of saving and upgrading at Appalachian Wireless. So how about an iPhone 13 for a penny on the mix and match or unlimited plan? The season of saving and upgrading. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Of the 61 deaths last year in Pike County, the Phelps and Belfry areas with 15 and 20 respectively far surpassed other parts of the county. These two areas are the closest to bordering West Virginia. As County Coroner Hall says, there is always the human element that also persuades him to keep a close eye on the numbers. The way we feel about it at the Pike County Coroner's Office is one death in overdose is too many. And we need to try to correct that. I don't know if the answer is through education, through abstinence, I'm not for sure, but I know that we want to help the people of Pike County with the problem. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Kempton.